So I'm not going to say I've got superpowers, but I don't know if you remember this video from a few months ago. Um, this is actually in very, very good condition, considering how old it actually is. Dyna power. Hmm. Guess what the name of the driver is that we've got today? What can I say? I'm debating going into palm reading. Shanks. Oh, many shanks. The Wilson Diner Power. And you need to see this thing. Whew. Did I do that right? That's right, the moon hitting name is back in 2023. If you don't know what I'm talking about with the moon, um, I did a retro review, if you wanna watch that for a bit of background. Now, this isn't the first time we've met. Oh no. I had the absolute pleasure of playing with this on the course, and it was easily one of the best driving days I've had in a long while. I mean, yeah, when was the last time we had a good driving day? It's been 84 years. Oh, that don't matter. Finer details. So guys, team out participation time. Thoughts on the looks? I think personally the finish of it is unbelievable. I'd probably say without that, it'd be quite a basic looking driver if it had the traditional glossy finish. But the fact that it's all matte, as you can see we've also got it on the crown, matte finish, carbon. It's a very beautiful looking driver. Again, that dark night finish with a vibrant red. Um, I love it. Yeah, it's, 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 it's nice. So the title of this video is likely going to be something along the lines of you're not going to try this. And I could stand here confidently and say 90% probably of the channel would not even consider hitting this. Yeah, I'd, 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 I'd go with that. But I would go as far as saying this is the best driver of 2023, pound for pound. Big call, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Big call. I do love a dark horse story though, don't we all? So my first experience of the carbon was on the course. It was, like I say, one of the best driving displays I've had in a long while. Um, everyone was impressed. Not about my short game and putting, but that's a different story. But on the tee, it was unbelievable. Did everything I wanted it to. Um, I don't know what numbers it produces, but we'll soon see. Feels good. <laughs> Sounds good. Goes good. That's fading left to right. And it's gone 343. Three. Are there going to be more forgiving drivers than this this year? Oh, yeah. That's where you look at the titanium for sure. This is, I feel for me, producing such low spin with this driver, high tail could get me in a bit of trouble. 2000 RPM with a fade. Gotta get through it, that's a swing issue, not the driver. In case you were wondering, consistent 340. So if you're interested in this driver, there are two heads you've got to take note of. Very, very important. So we have the Dynapower Titanium, which is available in nine, 10 and a half and 13 degrees. This is the stability monster. If you need high MOI, look no further. And the way you can differentiate the carbon to the titanium is the titanium obviously doesn't have the carbon pattern on the top. And then we move to the lightweight carbon. We've got the carbon pattern at address and then the matte top line. You've also got the carbon effect here, but just so you know, it also does say carbon there. Carbon's available in the nine and 10 and a half, the low spinning bomb. So I wondered how I could best describe in the most our way possible, the ball flight differences between the titanium and the carbon. Yes, that's a cup and a tea bag and not a Call of Duty tea bag. It's a different physical tea bag. This cup of water symbolizes neutral. This tea bag symbolizes draw. Okay, so carbon. There isn't any. No tea bag, no draw. Okay, neutral. <laughs> Lovely. Titanium? Okay. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay. A little bit. A little bit of draw. Neutral, a little bit of. Okay. You still there? Good. Just feel a bit healy at the moment. But this is the kind of driver I want in my hands if I'm, if I'm producing that sort of shape. We're not getting that spinny loss. It's making the most of the flight, um, the left to right flight. 
keeping that RPM down for me. Do you reckon we could try something? Do you want to see this on the course? If you do, okay. Could we get the likes on a video of a Wilson driver up there? Let's say 3,000. We'll go on the course. You know it helps. Get in. Go on, break left. Three, four, seven. I have no doubt this could push for PBs. Right setup. I just think, I just can't get it up at the moment. Oh, baby. It's bad swings at the moment, that's all. 340. Better at everything that was. Better launch, bit better spin. Great numbers for me, that. Now, the thing that really sets this apart for me is the pricing. Titanium, 699 Australian dollars. Carbon, 799 Australian dollars, which again, you can say, it's still expensive, it's still a lot of money, but for 2023, it's pretty impressive. As you can see, I'm trying to work it the other way just to see if we're getting those dead birds. So far, we, we, we're clear of the dead birds. 340. That's so fast. Look at that flight. <laughs> Three, four, six. Oh, that is, that's. Mm. So my launch there, will kind of tell you where my strike location was. That was high in the face, hence why we've got a few more degrees at launch, pushing 14. And also because of that, lower RPM at 1500. <laughs> if you think this drive is going to lack technology, Come over here. Come. On. Yeah, come on, come on, come over here. Let's go back. Camera's over here. Come on. It, it doesn't lack technology because this driver has AI. DynaPower AI, to be specific. We'll just put to the side for a second that AI is literally taking over our world and we don't realise. We're just laughing because it's helping us with golf, but soon we'll be replaced, just so we know. Anyway, AI has analysed thousands of shots hit on the face to then perfectly create the thickness of a driver face to really boost up our driver numbers. We've got a six way adjustable hosel to fine tune spin and also launch. You might be looking at this shaft going, that's not a Wilson shaft. It's not, it's a cut down driver shaft from a different manufacturer that's been stuck in this and it goes like stink. So hence why I'm still hitting this but the stock shafts are nothing to laugh about. We've got Fujikura Ventus Blue and a Project X Hazardous Smoke Red. This is a bit what it was like on the course. <laughs> just felt very confident with it in the hands. You know, I just knew what it was going to do. That was up at 2.6, 11 degrees of launch, it was a bit more out the centre. That was a bit lower. I love that. Three, four, one. Oh. I know I can come across to many um, a bit forwards with products like this, to a point where you get comments saying he's sponsored by Wilson. And no. It's just I'm very passionate for things that are reasonably priced, especially this year, that still performs well, and I want people to actually go and hit it. It's a bit like a Srix and it's a bit like a a Mizuno driver, underrated products, better, you know, better priced. The same person that comments, I'm a sponsor by Wilson, is usually the same person that comments saying, I'm not paying that stupid amount of money for X driver. So what, what do you want from me, <laughs> really? I've, not by choice, been out of touch with Wilson products because it's been availability, being actually able to get hold of it and test it. I watched a few episodes of the Driver vs Driver series that produced some cool little things and it really got its name out there for, you know, it was a great move, I thought it was a great show. And then a few of the drivers from there got on everyone's radar and, and I feel like this one should too. Oh my goodness. No, 
nice little roll on the green 360. I'll never get bored of that. Oh, yes. That's a good one. That's a good one to finish on, that is. 361, straight down the pipe. One of the most impressive things, again, with this driver, you could say this setup's quite volatile, especially for spin. Especially for spin. Yeah, like high toe strikes could get us in a bit of trouble, but regardless of that, I've removed Couple, two Brenders <laughs> and one shorter, um, just miss hits. Three, remove three and it leaves us with that dispersion. So again, this just shows you, majority dispersion wise, it is a very tight package. We averaged 177.6, 316 on the carry, 1974 RPM, definitely on the lower side, but again, the launch I think was just enough to get, get me out of out of trouble if we knock that dynamic loft down anymore we will be in serious doo-doo so that was just just okay on a different day could get into, into some trouble so we'd have to probably look at lofting up there total three four five now if you want to see the titanium comment down below as well we'll get into that um, a bit more stability could give us a bit more spin could be an overall better driver for me um, but if you have the slices you hit a lot of rpm I think something like this or this in a 10 and a half for me would be spot on. But I'll be completely transparent with you guys. I've been as excited to show you this driver as I have some of the big names this year. We're thinking of driver releases. I think I messaged the guys a few times saying, when's the embargo, when's the embargo, when can we go, when can we go? So um, I've been all, uh, super keen <laughs> to show you this because it's cool. It's, 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 an, it's a new one for me. Like I say, I've not been exposed to a lot of testing with Wilson stuff, not by choice, just because we've not been able to get hold of it. So this is really exciting for me and I really did enjoy it. So the moral of the story is, you've got to give us a try. It's as simple as that. If you're in the ballpark for a driver, you've got to stick this in. Um, if Wilson Golf, for some whatever reason, puts you off, I don't know why it's one of, it is the most successful brand on tour, you've still got to just commit. Um, we want to make this game as easy as possible for, possible for ourselves. And that means getting the best equipment. Not because it looks good, sounds good, particular brand. It's literally in your bag because it does its job. So think about that one. And if it works, it could probably save you about $500 Aussie. So think about that as well. <laughs> Guys, thank you as always for watching. If you're not a part of Team Al, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and I'm live streaming on Twitch. <laughs>